D'Azevedo, an artist's decision. The most satisfying thing is that sense of achievement, that uh, the feeling of fulfillment that you get from uh, achieving clarity of vision, clarity of idea, uh, you know, being able to manifest that um, conscious or unconscious image to get as close to it as you can. You can never, I mean, I never really achieve it. I think maybe rarely in a lifetime do you ever achieve it, but you can, can, uh, you can come close several times. I think that's almost as good. Coming close to that, I think, uh, the original concept, the mental concept you have, trying to put it out there and uh, hopefully having an effect other people, but that's not nearly as important ultimately as having you feel successful about it, that you've arrived somehow. When I grew up in West Africa, Liberia, West Africa, in the 50s, I was there with my family, and um, I got started with uh, drawing on the floor of uh, my, the house that was made for my parents with uh, the local kids who were the chief sons and the daughters, primarily the sons, um, who would get together after school or after working all day uh, on the rice uh, farms or chopping wood, whatever it was they were doing. They would come over and we would sit around on the floor of my bedroom and we had uh, my mother and, and had all these drawing materials, I remember, paper, crayons, things that we brought from the States and those would be produced and, and the kids would sit around and produce these incredible drawings. They were just um, incredible. I don't know how else to describe them. They were beautifully colored. Um, mythological figures, um, uh, figures from their, you know, like ancestral spirits that they would draw, they would make drawings of these things. Many of them had never drawn at all in their lives and they just started doing this. Anyway, I would draw with them and it was real exciting and we just spent do hours and hours of that. So I think that's probably how I actually got started doing it. I make my pictures because there's nothing else to do. Uh, I don't know what else I would do if I weren't doing that. I guess I'd be out making money or something, have a career, something worthwhile like that. I don't know, I've always done it. It's something I've always done. It's a part of me that uh, is an extension of what I am. Eric D'Azevedo has made a serious artistic decision to live the life of uncompromising aesthetic concern at all cost. He used an unusual technique of applying paint to plastic and then transferring the plastic painted surfaces to canvas. His studio was located in an abandoned cigar manufacturing plant where he created his many artworks. Eric is an artist as well as a poet. I hear the garbage trucks as they go pre-dawn squealing machinery, gathering filthy loads wet with raw and digested food, baby diapers. I hear sirens, anxiety signal, a punctuation of pointless life, death pointing the beginning of an investigation. Computers keep score of an environment that lives on black refuse, fed black gas of burning rubber, fat, and gristle. Tropical defoliation wants more cows can feed Burger King's banks when no more oxygen exists, royally choke, gasp in marble bedrooms high and far from corporate headquarters. Fear spreads from penniless, poisoned neighborhoods to comfortable hills with trained dogs. Elaborate security systems, when no one can get a last breath, fumes and acid burn blind eyes of the couch potato on extinct furs. The soft billowing throat reacts no sound will its tight cords make, scrotum clenched with fear. I hear women sweeping the streets at 5 a.m. They laugh and curse and they know their children will do anything to make money and their children are out of control and nothing changes. No old world here, uptown, downtown measured by sweat, good luck taking you far from tracks and the river, techno cats, money laundered lunch in lofty chic. Bolero, banker's teller, discovers 
She'd rather make love to it than run DMC. The whole world is not a tradition of arm wrestling students of English verse, trendy ghettos that swallow whole streets once lived in by men and women who died working deaths. The whole world is a Mercedes within which you can call in a deal, a fuck, or a good meal, or just blow some serious badass box. The whole world moves in as it moves on, down any street, USA, the American way. Corporate takeover from the bottom up this time. Mr. Jones won't know till it's too late all about making fools on someone's money. Nothing more to do, nothing more to know. It's interesting because uh, I had a sort of an academic rebellion when I came back to the States in the sense that um, book subjects and academic, you know, traditional subjects studied in school were the last thing in the world that I was interested in. And uh, I don't remember consciously being interested in art, per se, as a, you know, as an idea in my head. I mean, it was just something that I was doing. I was also writing. I think I started writing poetry, short stories when I was a teenager. Um, but I was always interested in other things, and sort of, I think I was very rebellious anyway. I was very angry, very rebellious. most artists are artists or do that kind of activity as opposed to another kind of activity is because they can't do anything else basically I think that's kind of the bottom line you know they're kind of they're, they gravitate towards it because it uh, feeds feeds them feeds a need to do it I don't think I think it's much more than just ego that uh, um, I think every artist would like to think that they are in some small way having an effect on you know or breaking new ground in, in that sense um, whether they are or not of course when one never really knows one has an idea in the back of your head you know you, you're borrowing things from tradition I mean I know that I work out of a certain tradition uh, a post painterly uh, expressionist tradition you know which is in the modernist uh, um, tradition and uh, I know the vocabulary and the tools that I'm using from that to make my uh, my statements with. I would like to think that uh, I'm using those in a new way. certainly not something you can count on as income at this point at least so it wouldn't be for that reason I think it's the same reason traditionally all artists have done art which is out of necessity um, because uh, they like doing that activity I enjoy the activity it's very uh, um, appropriate to to my feeling of well-being as a whole person to achieve Eric's concept of being a whole person, it was necessary for him to exercise. He took me to the Norman Marx Gymnasium. Eric introduced me to Mr. Marx as previously holding the title of Mr. Universe.